Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. In the last episode, we arrived at Sanctuary. It seems that Oriana Lawson is here, which means undoubtedly Miranda is here too. It turns out that Sanctuary, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't the nice, innocent facility that we thought it was. It is a Cerberus facility run by Miranda and Oriana's father. I... Considering how indoctrinated the elusive man is, and by extension Cerberus is, I know. Bad vibes. Bad vibes from this place. Okay. Hello, let me just make sure my timer is going good stuff. Hello, is this anything? No, it's just danger. Danger ahead, excellent. I mean, at least I know the danger is ahead of me. No refugee ever saw this part of sanctuary. Yeah, they kept this very well hidden. I'm... I'm, I'm concerned that at the end of this, we're going to trash the facility and I'm going to have to remember to run through these rooms. I don't like the fact that they're empty. I don't like the fact that we're not facing any opposition. That is too quiet. It's too quiet. Hello? Some kind of control center. No power, though. Look around for a switch. Hmm. Again, I'm gonna just I'ma just have a look around at everything else first. Okay. Just more science shit. That is so eloquently put. Science shit, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now then I see you. Power switch. There. What's happening? Those are the refugees. They're just rounding them up and slaughtering them. Worse. They're being turned into husks. Benefit. Um, he could just be crazy. Have we thought about that? Have we thought about that? The man is just a crazy hoe. Doing weird shit. Personal PDA confirmed unsuitable materials reassigned to recycling. And why, why do I think they aren't talking about, like, paper? A soda can? Like, why? I don't know. I, I, I'm so, I, I don't like husks. I don't like husks. I don't like how they run at me. Shutting down the power. Oh, hello. Reaper forces have made a mess of the facility. I'm shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. It should keep them out of the entrance as well. Lang. She doesn't know he's here. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. You want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. 
Damn it. Let's move. Oh, please. I I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned. Kai Leng is a cheater who can only kill people by using cutscenes to his advantage. Miranda Miranda's a bad bitch. Miranda is a bad can we? Okay, no, we can't get in there. I'm just checking. Just checking. Oh no, I don't want to go through there. Fuck that noise. F I be brave, be brave, Callista. It's just tusks. It's I ah. Piss off, piss off! <laughs> no. no. Okay, okay. Shoot them. Pray and pray, pray and pray. No, no. They're figuring out how to use stairs. Now is not a good time. back in Mass Effect 1 where I was I dear god I would brick it every single time they appeared shit how the reapers communicate who gives a shit like i just need to know how many bullets it takes to put them down okay. Ooh. no 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 um one of them no 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 you're so close you're so close um, here's what we do. We run away. What do you mean, Rachni? What do you mean, Rachni? I, I don't... What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? Where is... I'm like, where, where is... There is the Banshee. Okay. Okay, um, one of them. Oh, one of them. What the fuck is that? That's Kaiden. That's Kaiden. That's fine. Um, one of them. Madam, 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 who is dead? Madam. Madam. What the fuck are you doing? No, why are you so close, madam? Move, bitch, move, bitch, move, bitch! Madam, uh, madam, madam, um, piss off. Piss off. Bitch, you crazy! Just die! I'm not going near that. Fuck that noise. Fuck that. Okay. Now let me help you all out. Okay. Okay. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Who dare? Into cover. Into cover. Hello. 
one of those. Okay, I'm not. Aha! This is not a good position. Okay, okay. One of them. Oh, hello. That's right, deal with my fire. Where the fuck did you come from? And we are safe. We are... What the... the hell are you? Okay, well, if that's... If this is where we meant to go, what's round here? Okay, I think, I think just an alternate route. And that, that is making me nervous. That sound is making me nervous. Any more logs? Any journals? You know, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let me head up here. Okay. Okay. But is everyone... Everyone is choked. Okay, we can't get over that. Yeah, we can't climb up there. Okay. Okay, let's just keep moving forwards. Keep moving forwards. Remember to breathe and try not to squat. No. Bitch, no. Bitch, no. No. I'm... T I don't want to go in there. I don't... Madam. Madam. Madam, no. I don't want to deal with you. I don't like dealing with you. You scare me. I don't think she did anything. I don't think she did anything. The pursuit of efficiency has revealed an important fact. The Reaper's use of dragon's teeth to create husks is ingenious. The Reaper nanites attach themselves to the adrenaline released and quickly move through the body to speed conversion to the final husk state. What kind of monster does this to people? I don't get it. I don't either. No. No, it's, it's some batshit crazy stuff. Why are you just standing there, madam? Why are you just standing there? Dr. Nuri's legacy work with subject Paul Grayson provided a key element to our work here. Using the addictive drug Red Sand to break down the will was inspired, but proved unreliable for general application. We've proven that adrenaline and its cross-species equivalents is most effective and efficient. Okay, that's nice. I'm just gonna ignore you. Wait, no, no. Okay, I was gonna say if there's a door right there. Everyone, yeah, come in, come in. We're just, we're just gonna pretend that Banshee isn't over there. Terminal's damaged, hang on. Maybe we'll get some answers as to why the Reapers wanted this place shut down. It doesn't make sense. Not Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. What changed? It's working, Shepard. Heading to the tower to disable the communication scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? This is disgusting. And the scale of this. I suggest tracking the shipment she mentioned. It could lead to the elusive man. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. Okay. Okay. God, I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. Kyleng can't take out Miranda. Kyleng a bitch. Progress update. Rejected subjects have proven useful for preliminary genetic testing. The death rates are 100%, of course, but the data being gathered is critical to improving subsequent testing on viable subjects. Note, only approved personnel with Alpha 3 and above level security clearance are allowed access to the genetic waste testing area. Be aware that security breaches of any kind will result in immediate contract termination. Who? Who, who is, 
Wait, no, testing area. I was I was thinking, like, this is where they were putting the corpses. I'm like, is someone diddling the corpses? Like, is some weirdo here just being like, mmm, corpses? Yeah, no, it's, it's the testing area. It's the testing area. They're not that weird. Maybe. You never know. You never know with Cerberus. Chock full of weirdos. I do nothing. Okay. I, I feel... I don't want to go that way. I don't... Okay. Okay, I just... Keep calm. It's fine. As long as it's not a banshee, I'm fine. I noticed that there's something on that wall. I, I can't... I'm not going to be able to get to it from here. Nicely done. Check your fire. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not seeing any signs of any more banshees. Okay. Uh, one of these. Again. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything coming from down there. Okay. Stop that. Are you okay? This is such a bad angle. Okay. Where are you at? Marauder. I'm not coming in. I'm not going in, dickhead. Where is Edie? Where is Edie? Okay, Edie's down there. Oh, hello. There we go. Okay. Okay, but the, we got it. We got it. Okay, and we can't go back. We can't go back. We can only go forwards. But I'm... It, as long as that banshee is just contained in what, that one part of the facility, that'd be great. With the really spooky music as well. I mean... No. No. I, I don't know which is... I don't like husks. I don't like them. I don't want to be around them. I don't want to be near them. No. Nope. It's fine. Everything is fine. Creating these husk creatures was our first success. While not true husks, they still respond to Reaper signals. More work ahead, but we are moving forward. So I would assume... I would assume that the Reapers probably figured out, like, hey, someone's fucking with our technology. Oh, they still respond to us? Then let's, let's overwhelm the facility. Why not? That's what their who what their hubris gets them. We're very close. Understanding the indoctrination process is one thing. However, turning it to our advantage is proving to be quite another. This is assembly line science. The sheer brute force of numbers and repetition is doing the thinking for us. Effective, but discovery happens at a pace. Hmm. Okay, the game is saving, so I'm like, we're getting close to something. Let's... Oh, I don't like this. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you kindly. Ooh. I'll take that. I'll take your guns. Okay, let's see. Jesus. Looking at them is painful. Looking at them is painful. I don't like this. I don't like them. <laughs> Again, I have I have a horrific fear of robots. Horrific fear. And the husks play into that in a lot of ways. Anything else? Let's it's nothing. Okay. Okay. Father is working for the elusive man. Well, yeah, we knew that. 
We knew that. Internal memo streamlining, streamlining procedures. In an effort to streamline our waste elimination process, a high-grade liquefaction compound has been added to our alkaline hydrolysis disposal systems. Our goal is to ensure that our processing system can meet the expected processing ratios as more subjects arrive at this facility. As a result, personnel must wear level 4 hazmat suits at all times while in the disposal area. Ugh. outside the tower. If you're receiving this, I've got evidence you cannot ignore. Confirmation that my father is working for the elusive man. Connection established. I have your report on the process, Mr. Lawson. Cut to the chase. Can you do it? Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. He's talking about controlling Reaper forces? Is that... is that possible? I don't know. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know where the Reapers attacked Sanctuary. They ascertained what the Cerberus plan was. Unfortunate news for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Wait, Commander, there's more. Miranda's a bad bitch. Miranda's a bad bitch. Of course she is. Please. Please, Miranda. Okay. Oh, okay, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Okay. Oh, hello. Hi there. I wasn't expecting you to be just around the corner. Um... There we go. There we go. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Just, just think. Okay. Okay, and there's Kaiden. Got it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Bloody hell. Fire. I'm gonna just stay here. I'm gonna just stay here where it's safe. I'm, I'm, I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment. We've got spore pods. Okay, okay. Um, let me just take care of these. Okay, okay. Now, what am I facing? Get him, get him. Edie, up and at him. Nope, there's Edie. Okay, okay, okay. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. That's right. Oh, nope. No. Take oh, hello there, buddy.
you're going. Where do you think you're going, buddy? Okay, go, go, go. Out of cover, out of cover. We're done though. Okay. Okay. Can I have some ammo? Awesome. Let's uh, do, 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 do. let's get rid of all of the spore pods. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yes, no. I am not going near any of yours. No, thank you. Thank excellent, excellent. Give me that back. This is my favourite. Oh, we can get down here, okay. I, I just assumed this part was locked off. Nova. Okay, it doesn't. It's. Oh, God. What, just husks strapped to tables. It's weird. It's weird and not normal. Jeez, hello. Hi. You're right. I'm going to leave you there. I'm, j I'm not dealing with you. No, thank you. Oh, hello. Hello there, my darling. Not today. Any more? Oof, any more? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay, okay. I think that's the way we're supposed to go. Again, I like to be thorough. I like to be thorough. There could be good shit just hidden away. Yeah, no. Nothing here. Although, actually, I'm looking at my timer. I only have about two minutes left. So, let's end off right here. Again, more codex entries. The Miracle at Palavan. The Turian and Krogan counterattack on Palavan combined deception, courage, and tenacity. First, the Turians leaked a false battle plan that drew on the same tactics they used at the beginning of the assault on Palavan. Then, the Dreadnought Indomitable faked a problem with its drive core, coming out of FTL near Palavan's moon, Monet. Three other Dreadnoughts and their attendant fleets deployed to assist Indomitable a tempting target that drew the Reaper capital ships away from Palavan. Turian troop transports then entered Palavan's atmosphere to release shuttles, gliders, and individual soldier capsules. The Reapers did not understand the seriousness of the threat at first. Those that detected the landing crafts sent husks and collector swarms to intercept them, but little more. This allowed Krogan commandos to link up with Palavan's resistance and hand off their payloads, warp bombs, and fission weapons. In simultaneous strikes across the globe, Reaper ships began to explode. Torian resistance members had managed to smuggle the bombs inside when the Reapers processing inside when the Reaper processing ships, troop transports, and even destroyers and capital ships had opened their structures to indoctrinate Torian leaders. Large swaths of territory fell back into Torian and Krogan control. News of the victory gave a much needed boost to the morale of the Torian resistance and the galactic public. But the action was not without sacrifice. 
Turian insurgents gave their lives to ensure their explosives detonated, and the processing centers they destroyed were full of civilians who died just as surely as if they had been harvested. Of the dead, General Minen Resverick said, Whatever they were in life, their deaths had no equal. They are worthy of joining the spirit of Palavan itself. Oof. That is... That is quite the honor. And the reapers harvesting. Each with all the reap... Oh, even with all the reapers' power, harvesting every sapient species in an entire galaxy can take decades or even centuries. The most time-consuming part of the process is gathering DNA from the population. To accelerate the effort, the Reapers follow a consistent procedure. Victims who cooperate, surrender, or are captured by husks are sorted into camps. It is believed the husks possess receptors that allow them to analyze a victim's DNA through sight, smell, or touch. Victims that meet their standards are herded from the camps into processor ships. Those the husks deem insufficient are either turned into husks themselves or indoctrinated to serve as slave labor. The reapers use this last option to give their victims false hope. Many captives who would otherwise fight back become docile when they see members of their own kind obey and survive. The processor ships reduce victims to a transportable liquid. Like in a slaughterhouse, the ship's design prevents victims from seeing or hearing what happens elsewhere so that they do not panic. The victims are ushered into locking pots, then rent apart and dissolved into paste that is flushed to storage vats. The rate of killing is phenomenal. Intelligence estimates suggest there are more than 400 processor ships on Earth, killing approximately 1.86 million humans per day. In combination with battlefield deaths, disease and famine, this pace will result in the complete depopulation of Earth within a decade. As the husks and indoctrinated slaves build more slaughtering facilities, the kill rate can only increase. Reaper Capabilities The Reapers are technologically superior to the organic species of the galaxy, but the degree of that superiority is a matter of debate in the intelligence community. The Reapers thrusters and FTL drives appear to propel them at more than twice the speed of Citadel ships. Estimates of their location in dark space suggest they can travel nearly 30 light years in a 24 hour period. Reaper power sources seem to violate known physical laws. Reapers usually destroy fuel infrastructure rather than attempting to capture it intact, indicating that Reapers do not require organic species energy supplies. Consequently, the Reapers attack without regard for maintaining supply lines behind them, except to move husks from one planet to another. Unlike Citadel ships, Reapers do not appear to discharge static buildup from their drive cores, although they sometimes appear wreathed in a static discharge when they land on planets. The main gun on a Reaper capital ships on a Reaper capital ship dwarfs that of the Alliance Everest class dreadnoughts. No dreadnought has yet survived a direct hit from the weapon. Estimates put its destructive power anywhere from 132 to 454 kilotons of TNT. Even if the target is hardened, as, is, as in the case of a surface-based missile silo, the gun can instead bury the target beneath molten metal. Precise targeting computers and correctors also give Reaper's weapons a longer effective range than organic dreadnoughts or cruisers. The kinetic barriers on a Reaper capital ship can shrug off the firepower of a small fleet. Weapons specifically designed to overcome shields such as the Javelin, Guardian Lasers or the Thanic series can bypass the barriers to some degree. The difficulty is getting close enough to use them. The surface mounted weaponry on a Reaper ship, similar in principle to Guardian, presents an effective defense against organic species fighters. Yeah, the, the odds are not in our favor, but, <laughs> but we've got to try, we've got to try. Alrighty then, in the next episode, can we make it to the tower? Did Miranda manage to fight off Kai Leng? She got, she's got to. She's got to. Miranda is tougher than Kai Leng. She is way tougher. But we will find that out in the next episode. So please remember to like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.